one. Oh my god. Not at all important. This is just like all this the stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So these first four are like the scripts from the original issue, and then the next four are new ones. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on this issue because I hate it. <laughs> uh, but the whole reason that you talk about the attack is because it introduces his uh, not real twin sister, Crystal. Um, she is a figment of his imagination. Not a real person, uh, unlike most of the people that are introduced in this comic. Um, the original OC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, Darkbind and Chris Chan defeat the first two managers. And so Darkbind like goes off and does like his own thing. But then Chris Chan gets attacked by this guy. I think his name is like WM Manager or something like that. And so Chris is getting his ass handed to him. And then all of a sudden he gets visited by his ancient Tarokian ancestor. And he's like, Chris, all you gotta do is use your heart pendant to summon your um, your dream sibling. And Chris is like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> 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 Why then, haven't I been told this before? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh shit, oh my Crystal. God. He has a sister? Oh my gosh, what a plot twist. Where have we heard that before? No, this is original. This is 100% something that Chris invented himself. So he's like, oh shit, Crystal, the sister I always wish I had, but is not real whatsoever. And he summons her with like his love for his sibling and his heart pendant, and she just appears. And also, she has Sonichi powers, and she can become a Rose too. And she has her own like little Rose Chi pendant, and basically has the same abilities as Chris Chan, because she can also harness the power of a chaotic combo. Um, and so they both transform, they kick this guy's ass, and we find out that this is all like a plot by Mary Lee Walsh. And it was all a plot? It was all a ploy? Basically, all the jerk ups and um, managers in this series are sent by Mary Lee Walsh. They're under her control. I feel like Adventure Time copied Chris Chan. Yeah. With the ice cream plot with Fiona <laughs> and yep. cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the last three set episodes in the, um, in the issue. And I'm not going to talk too much about any of these because they're not important. <laughs> but Chris and Chandler's Backyard Safari is just him talking about like different jerk ups he's met on his adventures. And we find out in this episode, interest interestingly oh enough, God. that. <laughs> and in this episode, we find out that a female jerk up is called a Jane Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a Jane Cobb. A Jane Cobb. Uh huh. That's what they're called. A cop that is just all of them are named. I actually have to go now. Aw. Here, um, it was fun hanging out. All this is recorded, so you can watch it. We'll it's send it to you and say it's a lament over later. How long? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going to do this recording for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maddie's like, don't worry, I got everyone covered. <laughs> don't worry, guys. You don't have to touch that call today. Um, take all 20 of those jokes. Okay, so these two episodes are not important because I can't remember what happens in them. Like he's like <laughs> fighting more managers. Yeah, I, it's That's pretty much the plot of every sub episode is that he's fighting more <laughs> managers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, don't care. I'm not. I was looking for Carmel and she just appeared out of thin air. <laughs> I literally jumped in, uh, out from in between worlds. Sonic 2 5. This. We are getting to the point um, where I started to, so the first couple of issues took me like a couple of months to do, and this is the point where like two days ago I was like, oh shit, I gotta finish my presentation, <laughs> <laughs> and I did all of them at once. Uh, so we're taking a bit of a turn here. But Final Fantasy Five has two episodes this go around. Um, the Cherokee and Wedding. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, um, to start off, a Cherokee wedding is no different from a normal wedding. They're the same thing. Uh, so this episode is kind of a conclusion to the Sarah, Wes, Chris subplot slash plot that is happening 
After this, I don't think we see Sarah again. She gets married and dips. Um, and so we start off, uh, so she's getting married to her real life husband, William Spencer. Spicer, not Spencer. And Chris has no idea what this guy looks like. So he is depicted as the Jack Knight card from Yu Gi Oh! Uh, and also. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Das war sehr nun klar. Side chats. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, um, so DJ Jamsta is like over the radio, and Chris and Sonic Shoe are like, oh shit, we gotta, we gotta track down all these jerk offs that are attacking the city. And uh, so Chris whips out his supercharged Nintendo DS and. <laughs> And this has like access to like all the whereabouts of every villain in the series. You can see what all of them are. This is how this. Christian became Batman. Yeah, yeah. So like every every big baddie, he's like, oh shit, I can see him on my DS. Oh, okay. oh, oh, the brain. Because she is in that mirror. 
for like the majority of the series after that. Um. If it got loud, I was gonna end recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and so Megan is like, Chris, I'm so sorry I couldn't save your sister. Please forgive me. And Chris is like, oh, don't worry, Megan. And they hug. And on the very next page here, uh, Rose Jew has to clarify that the hug between Kristen and Megan did not actually happen. It is a figment of the magic. He did not touch a woman. <laughs> if you thought that he hugged Megan in real life, you're 